Hello, everyone, and welcome to Kronos Betrays Luna, and it's not gonna be fun. But hey, she's actually not that, like, I guess, bonded with us in this route, like she was in the other route. So it's not gonna hurt as much as when we did it last time. So, Betray, maybe? <laughs> I just choose ally again, we just go through that route again. <laughs> <laughs> Just for fun. Uh, at least Fi will be happy about this, I guess. As Fi and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running towards the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer, because they're children. Ten was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What happened to make him like that? Were you telling the truth? If our BV hits zero, do we really... Yeah, you chose Betray because of what I said, right? Don't worry. You made the right choice. You better not have lied to me, so I chose. So I choose betray. Zero will tell you if I lied or not. Zero. You. What's up? This is, I think, the last time that we'll have this interaction, right? Yeah. Cause after this route, like seriously, th this stuff has to unlock. <laughs> there's, no, there's, there's no other way. Fido. Are hanging because we're the cool kids. We're about to announce the results. You'll see in a minute. I know. Poor Luna. Hey, <laughs> what do you mean Zero's gonna tell us? Hey, fight! Hold on. Damn it. <laughs> really? Finally, let's get ready to rock. Sure. Really? You're not gonna let me skip this? Everybody wait. It's the same! It's always the same! God, I'm so sorry, Luna. Just should have chose Betray. I deserve it. Here are the results now. Let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Sure. Sigma? I'm sorry, Why Luna! Why you and Fi do that? Cause she made me! All we had to do was choose ally three times, and we could all escape together. I agree! After this, we only would have needed two more rounds, and we would have all had nine points. But now we... Why? I hung my head, as you should. There was no way I could look her in the eyes and try to explain what I've done. It was me. I told him to betray you. What? There's a way to get out faster. If you're successful twice with betray, you'll get three points each time, which gives you six. That means you'll have nine BP after the second AB game. I know that. Is that why you chose betray? So you can escape before the rest of us? I guess. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to get out first or anything. It, what? I just wanted to have a little leverage. How is leverage supposed to help you? Well, I was planning on getting out of here with everybody else, and he... You're lying. What makes you think I'm going to believe that? Yeah, I mean... Really, in this case, once you get betrayed, why would you ever choose ally, right? Especially if you have one BP. In, in the the game would just go on forever with people betraying. It's, it's, it's just it's just stupid. <laughs> it is actually just stupid. Uh, their eyes met for a long moment, but all I could see in Luna's was sadness and disappointment. Fi opened her mouth, then shut it again and looked away. I was about to apologize to Luna when. Hey, what were you thinking? I'm sorry, Alice. I didn't think you'd choose Ally. What? You really think I'd betray you? Well, no. That's what I thought at first. But Kay told you to choose Betray, didn't he? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. I was sure you would vote similarly. Are you listening? I'm not going to vote Betray against Clover. Well, I mean, he doesn't know that. Clover did, so you really should be mad at her. So, you never considered that we might choose to betray you? What? Clover would never choose that, of course. But what if I was your sole opponent? I understand it might seem strange of me to say this, but who would trust a man who hides his face? 
If I were in your position, I would be quite certain my masked opponent would choose betray. I mean, he's not wrong. Can yeah. I skip this? No. But it wasn't just you. Clover was there too. And she agreed to the betrayal! Yes, she was. But if I'd chosen to end an argument by force, do you think she would have had any chance? I was certain you'd choose betray for that very reason. So that was why you did it? Yes. After he explained his thinking to me, I thought he had a good point. It's all right. I mean, it is a good point, actually. I I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. Oh, really? It. Yeah, let's go look at a couple other routes. Have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. Uh, that was when I finally noticed Dio Cork and Ted. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is. You know he's his grandchild. Actually, you probably wouldn't know that. I trust that kid as far as I can throw him. And at your age, that can't be much. How? Why can't we skip this? This is this is like all the same. Keep an eye on it. It looked like things hadn't gone uh, as planned for the other teams either. Nonetheless, we all seem to have reached some sort of truce. Okay, I was gonna say, are you really not gonna let me skip this? We've seen it so many times. I'm, I'm assuming we're just gonna get to examining the rooms. In all honesty, I don't know what rooms we've chosen, in what order, or I'm assuming we've done all of them. Quark is in the infirmary, right? We've never been there last, right? So we'll do that. I'm assuming once we see Luna, it's gonna be sad. I don't really like I don't that. Think we'll be able to just puzzle that out. What? If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yes. I don't know what you're referring to. Okay, I'll go look around a bit more then. I've already spent plenty of time in here anyway. Well, Alice and I are gonna stick around. You know, just in case you miss something. Don't really feel like I can trust your eyes. Whatever. I turned and headed for the exit. Where to next? Uh, crew quarters, yes? Can't skip this. That's, I guess that might, there might be something new. Is Luna gonna be in here and she gonna give me like the whole, you're an asshole treatment? Cause I deserve it. I do. She's like the only good person in this goddamn game. Except for Quark. Oh, it's just 10. Oh, there's Luna. You're not mad? How? I guess it's not really your personality to be mad. There was only one room left I hadn't visited yet. The infirmary. I guess that would be kind of odd to pass the infirmary to go do the crew quarters first, huh? Are you going to pass out here, or...? Well, I think that's enough about me. Shouldn't we be making our way back to the rendezvous? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, shit. I totally forgot. Damn, we're already late. All the more reason to move along. Let's hurry. Come sure. on. Sure. Who am I paired up with? Oh, oh, are we gonna do the pantry finally? Holy shit. After 87 years. There's any five. It doesn't really matter. After 10,000 years, I'm free. Time to take over Earth. Or conquer Earth. It's been a while since I've seen that show. Anyways, are we actually going to go to the pantry? Well, it has to be. There's like nowhere else to go. Chromatic doors have opened. What the hell? You're I. Late. I know. You just thought you'd take your fucking time getting back. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry's not gonna cut it. Did you forget how this works? I'm your partner. Any later, you'd have killed us both, especially me. <laughs> you should remember that too, Sigma. 
Are you my partner? I can't go through without you. Oh, okay. You got back in time, but you need to be more careful. Sure. Please stop fighting. This isn't the time for that. She's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. I mean, I'm assuming we only have one choice, yeah. right? Yeah. So, how should we pair up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. Okay. Uh, option A, Alice I, pair up with Luna. Oh. Uh, Ten Quark, pair up with Clover. Phi, D-O, K. Uh, option B, Alice I, team up with K. Ten Quark, pair up with Luna. Phi, D-O, pair up with Clover. Option C, Alice I, pair up with Clover. Ten Quark, with K. Phi, D-O, with Luna. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Okay, so who's going to go where? I'm not going with Kay. I had enough of that last time. Thank you very much. Oh dear. Seems I'm not wanted. I'd like Luna to come with us. Huh? Me? Need someone gullible for the next round? Hey, shut up. Aren't you my partner? Maybe. But I don't want her to think that means I agree with you. I mean, true. You if you. Me last time, Fi. Yeah, right. And Dio, you betrayed Ten Miyoji. Ah, uh, come on! Didn't I tell you it was Quark who? Oh, come on! Dio, stop saying that! Kick him in the nuts, Quark! Anyway, Fi and I won't be choosing betray this time. Your BP's one right now, isn't it? If you chose ally and we chose betray, what would it be? I could I die. Yeah, and he'd do it too. I didn't want to say it straight out, but. Yeah, we're not gonna go that far just to get out of here. Yes, they would. Well, he would. Right, Fi? Fi might. Yeah. Okay. I'm really? I'm going to take a chance on you. Oh, are you gonna die? Luna, are you sure about this? I've made up my mind. Then that means Quark and I will be going with K. I'm assuming hopefully Fi will be able to stop him from voting. Since it looks like Alice is pretty determined. Yes, I am. Then I get to go with Alice again. I'm totally good with that. Okay. What I did to Alice last time was really bad. Yeah, we're gonna betray you. I wanna try to make up for it. Sure. So we're going with option C then? I guess, we don't really have a choice. We should probably just go. Door. Sigma, Alice, and Clover are going through the red door. Ten Miyoji, Quark, and Kay are going through the green door. And finally, Dio, Luna, and I are going through the blue door. Any objections? No? Seconds. This is 10 yeah. seconds. If there were any objections, there was no time for them. Let's go. The announcer's voice filled the room as we ran for Three, our doors. Two, one, zero. Chromatic. All right. Pantry? Get some food? I mean, they wouldn't redo a room, right? So it has to be the pantry. This is actually the only room I can't think of that we haven't done yet, right? Huh. Is this a dead end? There are three doors, but it looks like they're all locked. I wonder what this thing does. Probably pulls a lever. Well, it's got a lever. Can you pull that, Sigma? Sure thing. <laughs> no arguments this time? Huh, well, that's interesting. It opened the door on the right. <sighs> that's kind of weird. I mean, why just that one? What about the other two? Details, details. Hardly seems important to me. They gave us the way forward. I say we take it. Come along now. Without a waiting for a response, Alice strode off towards the open door. Clover and I hurried to follow. The pantry. The other areas below, where have we gone to? Treatment center, rec room, uh, office. Yeah. Whoa, this is amazing. Can't think of any. Yeah, what? I can't think of any other. Oh, wait, there is no other rooms down here. 
Oh, so is this the last puzzle room aside from like the, the password down here? Huh. Oh shit, this is the last. The pantry's the last one? Who'd ever need this much underwear? What? Yeah, what? Well, I mean, all these boxes and stuff are panties, right? Oh my fuck. Oh my god. And there are a lot of boxes. Hey, pa panties. Isn't that what it said on the door? No. Clover dear, it didn't say panty. It said pantry. Pantry? It's where you keep food. And maybe panties, depending on the location. Oh, I guess that makes more sense. You think? <laughs> Her face had turned especially amusing shade of red. What do you think of that that thing is? I'd say it's a water storage tank. That's not that much water. It's totally full of water. It doesn't look, but it's not that big. The stuff on the shelves looks like it's mostly bread, maybe a few pastries, but no panties. So just a bunch of food, huh? Was right that there's a lot, though. Looks like you can live here for quite a while. Depends on what type of bread it is. Like if it's preserved, like MRE type bread, then yeah, you can probably live here for a while. But if it's regular store bought bread, that shit's probably already bad by the time you get it home. Have to agree. And what do you think this place is for? Maybe it's where they quarantine sick people. In the pantry? Didn't we tell you about Radical Six? I guess that story really was true. Uh, you're saying that the reason they've got all this food and water is that they keep infected people here. That's ridiculous. I'm not affected with some weird-ass disease. Not right now, anyways. I don't want to spend the rest of my life locked up in a metal box. Me either. Giving us food is all well and good, but no spare underwear? That's unforgivable. <laughs> Seriously? How long are you guys going to keep making fun of me for that? I don't know. Forever? Right, well, I mean, okay, no, but she's right. If you're locked somewhere and you don't have any additional, like, clothing, this shit's gonna smell real fast. Uh, let's get started. That's actually something we haven't seen yet, right? Is, like, room with clothes. Right? Uh, what the hell's this? Uh, oh, empty container. It's a plastic bottle. It's a plastic container. It's not a bottle. This one says natural water. Do you think that means we're supposed to put water from nature in it? No, Clover. Look at it again. It doesn't say natural. It says neutral. Are you dyslexic, Clover? Whoa, oh, you're right. That means it's not acidic or basic. It's and it's right in the middle. All right, acidic. Does this icon mean you don't drink it? It says acidic water, so I'm going to go out on a limit here and say we probably shouldn't drink it. Then again, it's empty, so it's not like there's anything to drink anyways. Acid water? So what, like vinegar or something? Uh, I suppose. I think this is probably more like the water they use in beauty products. I wouldn't know what that is. Basic bitch water? An empty plastic container? It says basic water. So does it mean you're supposed to put basic water in? And another basic water. Okay. What is this machine? Is? What do you think this machine is? The bottom part looks like some kind of dolly. Uh, it's got this 5x5 five five grid of metal boxes. The top row's empty, though. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Fractions! Oh, uh, yeah. Do you think we're supposed to put something in them? Uh, well, not something, I guess. Probably more boxes. Uh, fractions? No, I think these are pages from a day calendar. Oh, that would be fantastic. The blue ones are Saturday, and the red ones are Sunday. So the black numbers are weekdays? Oh, that's fantastic. They're not fractions? I'm not gonna believe that until actually we're done with them. Huh. The screen's dark. Maybe, maybe it's not. On? Good pause there, Kronos. Looks like there's a card reader under it. You think maybe there's a connection? Okay, so we gotta turn that on. There's the safe. I wonder what this thing is. Well, it's full of ice cubes. Do you think maybe it's an ice machine? It's pretty big for one, something like that. Maybe it's an industrial ice machine. These look like handles, right? I wonder if we can lift it open. 
Let me give it a shot. It is locked, I'm assuming. Uh, no good. Won't even budge. What? What's with the surprise look there? This appears to be a graphic of some sort. I have no idea what it means. There's a hole here. Looks as if it got diagram on the left. Lock and unlock. Do you think they're showing a button there? Uh, you think they're showing a button here? I guess, maybe. But pushing the hypothetical button will release the lock. I don't see a button anywhere, though. Maybe it's in the hole? I don't think so. Could you put one on? On what? Have you been listening? A button! Oh, what's that? Uh, MP Beaker. This is a Beaker. He's from The Muppet Show. Uh, button parts. What is this? A button? Looks like it. Are these threads cut into... Uh, are these threads cut into this, the insides? So it's a female screw. Maybe we can combine it with something else and make it a bit more useful. Okay. Um, is this a blocker? Why the hell did they put a cabinet in the back in the co back corner like this? It's really hard to get to. Agreed. It's got a sliding door. All right, let's slide it then. A tablet? What's this? A binder? It's got a couple of pieces of paper inside. We probably ought to hang on to them. Okay, let's see what the hell that is. A uh, nutritional bow. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Okay, it's not that bad, I guess. One week. Huh. Alright. Uh, back up, I guess. What's this? Some of the picture boxes, uh, pictures on these boxes look really tasty. I wonder what's under the wrapper. Under where? Under there. Shut up! <laughs> oh, I get it. A lot of weird joke. It's a pretty impressive shelves. That's a lot of prepackaged food. It's a bunch of instant coffee and boxes of tea. Uh, you mean boxes, right? Ah! <laughs> so I guess Clover has underwear on the mind. Fair enough. A uh, button? You see this red button? I think it keeps the wheels in place. So if you push it, it'll unlock? I think we can move this thing if we release the locks. Sounds good. Let's get it to, let's get to it then. Uh, okay. Then pull the string? No? Oh, we gotta go over here. Ah. Alright, the wheel locks should be released now. Good, let's see if we can move this thing. <gasps> Animation! Should I push the buttons again? Okay, I guess not. There's nothing here. Okay, let's level look inside. Ooh! pH test! There's a binder in here. Looks like there's some sort of chemical. Now let's take the binder first. pH scale. Now the chemical. Uh, pH detection is good at chemicals. This is a chemical detection pH. Um, you can use it to test how basic or acidic things are. Didn't you ever do that in school? You put it in water and the water changes color depending on the basic... Uh, basic... Basic tea? There we go. Acidity. Basic tea. I don't even... I can't say that word. Also, we used something like this for uh, the pool back in the day. Can't get back to that one. Alright, uh, these are all draws. Yeah, there's a ton of them. Hmm. Wow, how many are there, I wonder? 366. What? I said 366 draws. That's a lot of underwear. You just looked at them and figured it out? No, I did math. They're divided into four sections. Each row is numbered 1 through 14. In other words, there are 14 rows in each section. The columns are labeled with the letters A through G, so you get seven columns per section, and four sections means 28 columns total. So now, each section has a few spots where there are only, uh, aren't any draws, right? Well, specifically, there are 26 spots. So you just calculate 14 times 28 minus 26. And that's 366? Right. You did all that in your head? Of course. It's pretty simple stuff. I mean, you're not wrong. It is basic math, but 
Normally, you would take a minute. I'd take a minute or two. What is, wait, what is that saying? Oh, okay. Hmm. This is probably gonna come into play with a puzzle, right? Because the top row is missing here, except for down there. The bottom row is missing there. All right, what's this? Hey, this is from a calendar. Yeah, it looks a little weird though. Find a calendar, I guess. Wait, I think there's something written on the back of it. The day the man was abducted. Oh yeah, there is something back here. The day the man was abducted. Uh, so, oh, this is the pH testing. Ionized drinking water, seven. Beauty products, four. Uh, the day the man was abducted. This is not a good calendar. <laughs> I don't like this calendar. But hey, you know, that's fine. We'll probably have to use that for these numbers over here, right? I'll do that next time, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all then.